Good morning, you guys. It is April 12th, and I'm sitting outside of my orthodontist office because this is my first checkup since I've had my um, braces removed. The point of the main point of this appointment is to determine if I have to continue wearing this all day or if I can discontinue use of wearing it all day and just wear it at night. Um, yesterday I did, excuse me, you guys, um, yesterday I did wear it, I didn't wear it all day, mainly because I have had really bad indigestion and I have become very sensitive to smells, particularly when people are cooking. Um, I can eat the food afterwards, um, but certain while they're preparing the foods, you know, I don't, it doesn't matter what they're preparing. It just sets me off. So I've been feeling really sick here lately and I've been eating, I've been not eating, but sucking on ginger candies, um, to kind of offset it. So I've been eating these ginger mints. And they do help with my stomach. I keep one in the car and I will be keeping a bag in my purse just because that is what's been helping hold back the nausea. That and Sierra Mist. Um, anyway, um, back to the original video. I'm um, here to do that to see if I can stop wearing this. And I am going to be informing them because I know he's going to ask about the missing teeth. Have I done what I needed to do? For that, and I have, I am getting my teeth on Thursday. They came in last Thursday, and I was able to get appointments scheduled for um, this Thursday. So, I will be able to get them put in on Thursday. I am getting a partial dentures for the bottom, and it may have two of my three missing teeth or it may can have all complete three if it doesn't have the third one and it only has two it still will have a plate there for me to chew with so that's going to be really exciting to have and i'm going to um share that experience with you guys but yeah this appointment is mainly to see if i can be liberated from this retainer all day I truly hope that I can because it gets very annoying to have to pop this out when I have juice. I can't keep the retainer in unless I'm drinking water. Everything else I have to take retainer out for. So it will begin to get very frustrating having to remember to do that. I've taken it out at places and sat it in my lap, forgot that I sat it in my lap, stood up, and then my retainer is God knows where. I have lost this retainer um, three times in the time frame that they have given them to me. I have found it. I have not had to replace this one. I did re lose and replace the bottom one, which I am kind of happy I lost it because the one that they replaced it with was 10 times better. <sighs> so I'm really hoping that none of the smells in there sets me off. If any of you guys have just been looking at all the videos on my channel, you do know that I've just uh, completed a for my first cycle of IVF and I am currently pregnant. I am four weeks and four days to be exact. And the progesterone injections that I have to take and as well as the normal morning sickness that some women have, I am having. And... I wear these little things right here to try to help and I'm just very sensitive to smells. So I'm hoping that there's nothing in this, this orthodontist office that sets me off. So appointments not until 830 and it is 805. So I have 25 more minutes before I can go in. And yeah, I'm going to sit here and uh, check up on some emails and, you know, keep myself kind of busy. 
uh, yeah, because I have um, an appointment coming up. I have begun to carry a water jug with me everywhere because I do have an insatiable thirst. I know this has nothing to do with the orthodontist appointment, which that's what this video is about. But yeah, so stay hydrated, you guys. It's starting to get hot outside, so we need to stay hydrated. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we're done. Hey, you guys. So good news. Nothing has shifted. He is very happy with how I've maintained my bottom retainer. I come back in six months just to do a checkup and it is been approved that I can stop wearing this all day. He said I can pick and choose when I want to wear it throughout the day and that um, I definitely need to wear them at night top and bottom because I do have a top set and a bottom set. Um, and that's mainly because I had a gap right here, yeah, right here, that did not want to close at all. So he, I did let him know that my partials are going to be picked up on Thursday. And he said that the partials will act somewhat as a retainer for me throughout the day um, because of their design. So he said that'd be good. He says I should um, get acclimated to using them very easily. And then that I would take them out at night in order for me to wear my bottom retainers at night. And I kind of figured that because my bottom retainers are made and designed for me not having those teeth there. So I feel pretty stoked um, that I don't have to wear the retainer all day. So now I'm not really worried about why are you telling me oh my part my seat belt alarm is going off but it's because my purse is sitting in that chair anyway i am going to go literally up the street and get my blood drawn real quick for my third and final beta which is something that i'm doing um as peace of mind for my um my egg retrieve my um not egg retrieval but my um what's the thing called oh my pregnancy y'all i'm so i'm just so tired i don't really get a lot of sleep anymore and last night i caught a really bad charlie horse in my sleep but yeah I'm just happy that I don't have to wear the retainers throughout the day anymore. So now I'm not really stuck having to pop it out all the time when I want to eat or worried about losing it somewhere. So when I get home, I will be putting it in the retainer holder that I keep my bottom retainers in. And that's it. So thank you guys for tuning in. This is basically my last braces video because the rest of these videos that the vet, not videos, but the rest of these appointments that I have are basically um, just checkups, making sure my teeth aren't shifting so that I don't have to be the, that part few that has to wear braces again. I'm not going to wear my braces again. I'm going to do what I got to do so I don't. So thank you for joining, coming along on this journey. If some of you have been with me from day one, this was a two-year journey. So almost a two-year journey. So thanks for riding along with me on this journey. Have a great day on purpose.